Hello, Judy Baker. Hello, Kate Yordahl. Um, I am calling you because I'm working on the online teaching class, and I wanted to ask you a couple of questions. Great. So the first one is, what is one recommendation you would give to a new online teacher or a teacher who wanted to reinvigorate their online class? My biggest recommendation to faculty to rigor, reinvigorate their online class is to make their online classes more engaging and interactive by giving their students opportunities to create their own learning content and then share it with each other. There's okay. many, there are many free online tools that are available that make student-created learning content easy for faculty to manage, review, and share. And what kind of things would a student create as online content? With all these tools that are out there, students can create their own videos. They can create annotations to videos, insert quizzes in videos, create their own timelines, slideshows, narrated slideshows. They can create storyboards and ebooks. They can also create their own uh, collaboration spaces for group projects. And they can create posters. They can share their uh, a list of websites with their own annotations and recommendations. You name it, there are tools out there. Yes, it is a really exciting time to really engage the students in with the with all of the tools that are out there. And I, I, I know in this class we'll have some pages that will share some of those links and some of those suggestions for people who want to investigate them. Certainly. So um, I know you as Judy Baker, Foothill Global Access and the face of online teaching at Foothill College, uh, but I know that you also are an online teacher. And so I wanted to ask you, what is for you the most rewarding part of teaching online? The most exciting part about teaching online is the access to all these tools that can provide learning opportunities for our students that are not even feasible in on-campus classrooms. Mm -hmm. We can use these tools for students to share their own work with one another and engage in peer review. We can provide ways for them to, for students to be quizzed frequently with automated grading so they can get immediate feedback, which they love. And the, by teaching online, you could have access to literally the entire world of people to be your guest, expert guest speakers. Mm, really interesting. Well, I, I wondered if you have a memorable story of an online learning success. I do. Years ago, I had one student who was living with chronic pain from a, a car accident she had in high school. She needed to take classes online because she simply was not able to attend classes on campus very regularly. As I got to know her, I, I asked her to serve on as a presenter on a student panel to over 100 faculty about what it's like being an online student. By the time she was done, she, she put, had tears in the eyes of faculty in the audience. Eventually, she ended up completing her entire associate's degree by taking online classes and then went on to earn her bachelor's and her master's degree. Now, she's an adjunct faculty member who teaches online courses herself. That's a fabulous story. Well, thank you so much for sharing it. I, I, I know that there's many ways that online allows our disabled students to participate more fully and to give them opportunities to, uh, to learn at their own, in their own space, which is really, really exciting. So, well, thank you for sharing and thank you for being part of this, this conversation. My pleasure. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.